Celeste. Beautiful, wonderful, bastard hard Celeste. What started off as a small project on the Pico 8 Fantasy Console is now a fully fledged 2D platformer that you can download on the Nintendo Switch. I think you can download it for other platforms too, but really, why would you want to? By now you've probably seen and heard a lot of people raving about Celeste and as needless as it is, I'm going to add my voice to that too. I love Celeste. I love that it's so simple. Each screen is its own devilish little platforming challenge and you can jump, air dash and climb briefly and that's about it. The game cleverly teaches you what you can do at the start and then spends the rest of its runtime asking you to test the limits of what Madeline can do. See those wee flying strawberries? Some of them are a right arse to get and the only reward for getting them is the satisfaction that you did it after 81 deaths in the same screen. You're going to die a lot in Celeste. Some of those deaths will be stupid and the celebration of surviving them will be outweighed by, well, dying two seconds later. It's never frustrating though, because you never have to start from miles back, only the start of the screen that you're on. I settled into a wee rhythm of trying, dying, retrying, inching forward a wee bit, dying and retrying all over again and I always had a big smile on my face. Part of what made me smile is the sheer charm of the game. The pixel art renaissance might be getting a bit old for some, but Celeste just looks beautiful and the handful of pixels that make up the characters convey so many wonderful little character touches. The way Madeline has a sort of spongy landing, this adorable wee old woman laughing heartily at you at the start of your journey. The only character that grated on me was this dude, a recurring character who's just a little bit too twittery for me. Although I still ended up liking him. That's the thing about Celeste. I can't help but like it. Love it even. It's so clever and wee and lovely and wholesome. After a year of massive blockbusters in 2017 and ahead of a 2018 that promises more huge stills to come, it's so nice and refreshing to have this wonderful little gem to play right now. Get it played folks. <laughs>